most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomasso. Another nice day of low humidity and some sunshine. It's another gorgeous one. I mean, the last two have been really, really solid. If you were out last evening, you kind of feel the dip temperature wise. We had some places in the 40s last night, Ooh. Valerie, so it, it's all because of the dryness in the air. And unfortunately, that dryness means not a lot of rain chances here this week, but the lower humidity after last week, I think is much needed, giving everyone a maybe an opportunity to open up the windows rather than running the air conditioning nonstop, especially at night. But look at the waviness in the clouds here over Dillsburg. This is a very cool feature, and while maybe blocking some sunshine for a few locations, it is not often we see cloud formations like this coming in, but this is because of convection or or thunderstorm activity to our west. And while we're not seeing that thunderstorm activity locally, we're getting the blow off or the leftover clouds in advance of that line of storms. Here's Mannheim also seeing blue sky mixing in with that fanning out of the cloud cover. Cool stuff out there. Not something you see every day. Low to mid 80s across the board, except for Lewistown at 79, where the clouds have been a little bit thicker, maybe a little more widespread. It is slightly cooler, but I don't think anyone's complaining. If we don't hit 90 today, so what? We've had plenty of that here over the last week. I still think there's a chance. Many of us do, but Louisville at 81, Montalto at 78, winds relatively light, but out of the south and southwest. So while there may be some clouds and we're seeing that fanning out process, as I mentioned, right over top of us, we're still getting warm air coming in from the south and the southwest. It is overcast, though, over the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley as the leftovers of those showers and storms continue. Nothing locally, unfortunately. Now, by tomorrow, we will be able to track some showers and storms in the forecast. Unfortunately, that is not our day today. Day planner calling for highs near 90, more sunshine filtered in with those high clouds, then mostly clear tonight and still could be on the cooler side for some of us. But notice it's this whole thunderstorm complex to the west. It's throwing clouds to the east, even though high pressure is in charge. And we're not seeing rain, just clouds coming in from that system. So precision cast not doing a great job with that so far today. That's why this is a computer model. Always go back to what's actually happening in the atmosphere. And unfortunately, more clouds than expected across parts of the area, especially high clouds tomorrow. If we bake in the sunshine all day, that leads to the fuel for showers and storms during the afternoon and evening. Now, I do think there's at least one line that develops. I think this look is a little bit overdone. I would take it because we all do need rain. Let's hope it's overdone, but I think the more realistic output is likely a half inch of rain or less for most locations tomorrow. Valerie could be some gusty storms, but just like Sunday, not many folks saw storm activity. I'm unfortunately worried that could happen again yeah. for tomorrow. Once we get through that front Thursday and Friday look amazing sunshine, low humidity back to near 90 for the weekend, but we're not going above 90. Mm -hmm. in the seven day forecast. So that is a change from last week. Yeah, hopefully farmers get this rain soon. They I certainly it. hope so, especially our western counties mm -hmm. from Franklin, Adams, up through the ridges and valleys. There hasn't been a whole lot Perry lately. County, not a lot there either. Exactly. All right, thank you, Dan. Sure. Up next, uh, look.